Yo guys, it's up Shadow here, and welcome back to Divinity Originals 2! So, we're still down here, in this mysterious ruin, and we're about to figure out what that riddle is. The sculpture is covered in strange glyphs. So first of all, the trying to read the symbols, I will you um, faint whispering at the check out the riddle again. As if you're listening to the echoes of a past age. And I have a, a pen, a piece of paper, and I'm gonna write this down, old school. You know, back in the day, in some of the older like PC games and PlayStation games and whatnot, they're in the instruction booklets. Well, some people might not even know what instruction booklets are for games anymore. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, in the instruction booklets sort of the games, there's sometimes in the back where it was like four or five pages, um, just empty pages where you could note things. You know, because back then... There was no internet, there was nothing to look things up, so you, you wrote shit down and you had to remember things. It's, it's crazy, right? So, yeah. Your mind swims, and okay, let's see. you read, Our first lord's babes with power glowed, our seconds born in blood that flowed, our thirds young to the wind return, our fourths to glowing flames adjourn. Okay, power glowed, I think that's an important one. The second one is blood that flowed. That seems to be... Well, not, not obvious, but... Um, then, our third, young to the wind return. I'll just write down young wind. I think that will be good. Okay, fourth flame adjourned. So, I wonder if we just have to activate the, the columns in, in the right um, order. Or if we have to do the same with the um, the trial of the seasons thing, if we have to like cast spells again in the in the elements. Our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed. Our sixths had brawn beyond the rest. Cups with minds. That is weird. And sixth brawn beyond the rest. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, and the seventh? Our seventh brood spread from earth to glen, and thus no king shall rise again. Brood spread. Okay. You try to hold your focus. Okay, okay, let's um, go to these statues. Maybe there's something more on the statues that we m might be able to read or something. Let's see, what's the first one? The Pillar of a Relic. I'm not quite sure what Relic is. Relic. I used to pray to you when I was young. Oh, so we just activate this one? Pillar of Xantitsa. Ah, Xantetsa, the goddess of mirth, worshipped by imps. Okay. The god of the orcs, Vroger. And then this one I know, this one is the gods of the humans. The goddess Amadia. Oh, the knowledge. I or never whatever. would have imagined we would be quite so close. So, do we just activate those? That's kind of weird. This is. Isn't this the. Um, the one of the lizards? Blessed Solstice. An elegant god for our elegant people. Right. Duna is the dwarves. Duna. The stoutest of the seven. No wonder the dwarves pray to him. And. Tyr Sendelius. That's the elven one. Well, worshipped right. by my people. Right, okay. This is gonna be quite the problem. Also, the thing is, you cannot just guess it. Because it's not like in other puzzles where you, you click on one and then if you click on the next and it's not right, it goes back to the start. That's not how it works. Um, it, it lets you do everything and then... Okay, so, oh god, I need to write this down too. So we have the... This guy. This is the god of the elves, right? Tyr Zendelius. What could this one be, um... Connected to? It's kind of hard to say. Then there's the, the dwarf, Stuna. Duna. Now, the dwarves. 
Could that be the brood spread from... What was it? From Glen to Earth? What else could it be? And then we have this guy, Zorlstissa. Which is the... Um, uh, the lizard god, right? And this one, I mean... Flame adjourned, young to the winds. Power glowed. Then Amadia, she's like humans and knowledge and whatnot. Right? Mm. I wish I had a bit more knowledge about these guys. I really have to say. Then this one, this one's the god of the imps, I think, right? No, Vrokir is the is the orcs. Right? And this one could be brawn beyond the rest. Right? Xantessa is, is the imps. The last one I'm not sure. This guy. Ralek. I mean, Ifon said he prayed to this one, but... Power glowed. Which one is the, the one with the power glowed? Also, I wonder if my guys will just talk different... Um, they'll say different sentences based on which one we activate. Power glow. Let's go with this one. Blessed Solstice, an elegant god for our elegant people. Yeah, definitely the elven god. Eh, uh, the... the uh... Ah, uh, the, the lizard god. Then blood flowed? Um... I don't huh. know. Xantedza, the goddess of mirth, worshipped by imps. Hmm. Relic. I used to pray to you when I was young. I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. It is really weird. The god of the orcs, Rogir. Also, it's always like the same lines they seem to be saying. It's Amadia, the mother of wizards. The mother of wizards. That could be power glowed, technically, right? Duna. The stoutest of the seven. No wonder the dwarves pray to him. Yeah, the stoutest. There's like brawn beyond the rest, right? So I would say the sixth one could either, either be Duna or Vorgir. Although Vor Vorgir could also be blood flowed. Ah, Tyrus and Dilius. Well, that was right. Interesting. Do they say different things? Ah, no. Tyrus and Dilius. Worshipped by my people. Duna. The stoutest of the seven. Blessed no souls. No wonder the dwarves pray to it. Hmm. Is there any other, like, hint in this chamber, perhaps? Ah. Uh. Okay, so. I'll just make some notes here. So I'll put down Vrogir, the orc god, for the second one, for the blood float. Brawn beyond the rest, I would say Duna. Um, power glowed. Amadia, because she's like Lord of the Wizards. Zantetsa, the goddess of mirth, relic. I used to pray to you mm. when I was young. I, I, the god of the orcs. I'd love if they would say some other things, but apparently they don't. Then we have young to the wind, flame adjourned, cups minds blessed, and it's a brood spread. Um, right. Brood spread. Now, maybe are imps kind of like goblins in other um, fantasy universe? Because then these would be the brood that spread. You know, the ones that are everywhere, just annoying little creatures. So could that be Xantessa? Then what are we left with? Ralek, Tirsendelius, um, Sorstissa, and that's actually all we're left with. Now, just because, like, 
Young to the Wind? Could that be the elves, Tyrus and Delius? And... Oh god, Rolek... Flame... It's so hard to say. The curious sculpture, the cup trying to read the symbols. You, your mind, you read. Our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed. Our sixths had brawn beyond the rest. Our seventh's brook. You try to hold your focus as the whisper. Is there like a book where you can read the about the gods? Is in strange glyphs. Let's the just only press on the rock. shifts within the sculpture, and you're knocked back by a sudden burst of energy. The glow from the columns surrounding the barrier fades, and the room is still. What? Why, why did that happen? That's kind of interesting. I really don't see anything else in here. Mm. And in our journal, there's nothing else either, right? I've heard like this before. Oh, 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 voices, voices, uh, spirit vision. Perhaps we can find something. Maybe the oh the skeleton. Maybe the skeleton. There is a a a a, a ghost of the guy. Maybe we can talk to him. It doesn't look like it right now, but ah, looks like we're not lucky. Damn. Let's go back. Maybe we'll find something back here. There must be some way. Something that can help us in here. Come on. Also, nothing here. God damn it. Maybe some of the murdered Magisters are here as spirits. Although, I kind of doubt they would help us. I just saw a spirit, I think. Oh, yeah, there's one. Spirit of a white magister. The spirit of a white magister scowls at your presence. Get away from me, sorcerer! Filth! What is going on here? You'll get nothing out of me. Nothing. Say if she tells you what sh what you want to know, you'll give her remains a proper burial. Or that will consume her spirit and consign her to oblivion. What? No, wait. I'll tell you. We had orders to bring down the wall. I thought there was more to find beyond it. That's all I know, I swear. You've decided to be merciful! Hmm, that doesn't really help us, does it? Is there maybe something else here? Maybe a book of some sort? Or, uh, I don't see anything. Drudens, okay. Um, hold on, do we have... Tale of the Seven Gods. The Seven Gods are still young, but they decided each of them should have their own race. To oh, this could be an interest. Oh, okay. Here we go. Where did I find this book? Was it down here as well? Let's see. And thus it happened that Rolek, the most powerful of all gods, became the patron of the humans. The burly Duna created the dwarfs in his own likeness and even lived alongside them in the mountain caverns. Tirsendelius, the poet, went into the woods and created the elves. He blessed them with near immortality and wisdom. The reptile goddess Zorlstissa wished to command a proud warrior race, thus she created lizard people, fierce fighters from the wasteland. The god Vrogir, renowned for his brutality and violence, created the orcs and enslaved them for more than 300 years before he left Revillian. Xentessa, the goddess of mirth and laughter, wanted an intelligent race, worst in the arts of magic around her. Hold on. Hold on. She created the imps, were talented magicians and engineers. The goddess Amadia was an outsider, preferring to live in complete solitude. As centuries passed, the six races spread over the continent. One day, Amadia's dalliance with a wizard resulted in the birth of several demigods. She granted her love, lover immortality and decided that she would act as a patron mother of wizards. Although wizards were not considered 
as a separate race. They have already had their own goddess to pay tribute to. Ha! Huh. Could it be like the... In the order they're mentioned here? So the first one would be... Relic. Power Gloat. Blood Float. Do not... I don't know if that makes sense. Tears Sandelius would be the third one, which would be Young Wind. Then the fourth one would be Flames Adjourned for the, the, the Lizards. Okay. The fifth one would be Vrogir, Cops Mind Blessed. That makes no sense. And then the sixth one would be Xentessa, Brawn Beyond the Rest. And Brute Spread would be Amadia. No, that makes no sense. But I think this helps a little bit, at least. Right? Oily Book. Machine restart sequence. Ember, Sapphire, Emerald. Oh, maybe I should have read I know that. What I need to do now. Whoops, I didn't read that. <laughs> Is there any more books we should have read and we didn't? Excavation lock? No, that is not useful to us at all. I think she has the... Dead Explorer's Diary. Oh, here we go. Maybe this can help. Relic, Earth, do not Air, Tisendelli's Blood, Solstice of Fire, Vrogir Muscle, Xantessa Mind, Amadia Magic. Okay, if we look at that. Now, Power Gloat. That could be Amadia, right? Then, Blood Float, obviously, would be Tears and Delius in that mind. Then, Young Wind would be Xantessa. Flame Adjourned would be um, Sorl Stissa. Cups Mind Blessed would be Xantessa. Brawn Beyond the Rest would be Vrogir. And Brute Spread. Rolic. Because from Glean to Earth. Let's try that. I should have I should have actually written that down. I will have to open the book again. I think the first one was Amadia. Okay, so yeah, obviously I should have read the book. It it's kinda irritating because the rest of the time the game has basically written a lot of things down. Oh, actually, this one is written down here. Just... Hmm, okay. Maybe I was overthinking it a little bit, right? Okay, let's see. Maybe it was... Um, my undoing probably here was that I... It didn't writ... It didn't uh, put down the riddle from the, the stone. Maybe that was what really confused me. Okay, so the first one would be... Um, magic. It would be Amadia. Amadia. I never would have Blood float. Um, Tears and Delius. Which is this one. Third one, Tears the young Delius. wind. Worshipped by my people. Um, Duna. Why is Duna air? Duna. This is so weird. The stoutest of the seven. Then no wonder the dwarves flames adjourned them. would be Sorl's Dissa. Yeah. Blessed Sol's Dissa. Then number five would be Cups Minds Blessed, which I think is Xantessa. Yes. And then number six is Brawn Beyond the Rest, which is. Um, the God of the oh. Orcs. Damn, Vroger. did it wrong. It would have been Xantessa of Rorgir Rolik. Ah, Zantetsa, the goddess okay, of mirth, hold on. Worshipped by I used to praise well, you when I was young. That wasn't right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll split the guys up. It's gonna be faster this way. Come on, come on, come on. And you can wait over here. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so how did it go? Um, Amadia... Tears and Delius. Ah, Tears and Delius. Worshipped by my people. Do not this one. The stout this one. Stissa, the scaled. This one. Zantetsu, the goddess of mirth. Then Bron. The god of the all. Vrogir. Rally of the humans. Woo! 
way through. Did, we did it. We did it. That was not as hard as I, it should have been. I was just kind of stupid. Okay. I expect um, a trap. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll just get rewarded. Without any trouble whatsoever. What on the name of Lucian's prize pig is going on here? That's a good question. So we have two loot boxes. <laughs> and... Um, let's, let's... Poison wave. Which is a geomancer skill. Erupt, poison erupts from the castle in a circular wave. Ooh, forms poison cloud. Gives immunity to poison and earth damage for one turn. Mm. Okay. Oh, actually, I should probably give this to the Red Prince, I think. Gold cup. And gold. There it is. That's the thing we need to do a retreat for a Riker. Which we can't, because Riker is dead. We found an ancient tablet deep beneath the black pits. It seemed to bear pictographs of how to construct some sort of scythe. An odd thing to keep down here. Perhaps it's more important than it looks. Okay. I wonder what they did in life to deserve such a resting place. The creature looks down from its perch, trembling. It crawled out of that sarcophagus as if it had forgotten how to move its limbs. It turns to you, and you see its face is covered by an intricate mask. The Eternal Aitreya. Isn't that the thing that we're looking for? Also, right now they're friendly, so I have my hopes up for now. From behind its unmoving lips, you hear a noise. It starts as a groaning, croaking chatter, but slowly becomes more distinct. It's speaking. A good day to you as well! You can make out... Can't make out any words, but you recognize some sounds. An elfin chirp here. An orcish grunt there. Tell it to wait as you reach for some parchment. The stream of noise cuts off abruptly. After a moment, you hear a jolting, lurching voice. It has the shape of Zol Stissa, but speaks the tongue of beasts. How cruel. Oh, was it talking to me in Lizard? I suspected the Seven Lords won the war after they locked me here. But seeing their faces on dumb creatures, a depressing confirmation. Oh my. Ask if Brachus Rex is the king she's referring to. What is this senseless brain? I speak of no beast king. I speak only of the king. The eternal king of creation. The king against whom the seven lords rebelled. Deep within your soul, you feel your god stirring at the sound of the voice. You can feel its anger and fear swelling inside you. That's not a good, uh, good sign. Eternal Stalker. They don't seem too strong, but she seems kind of beastly. Alright, Scholar. Inform the creature that it is sadly mistaken. It was established at the Synod of Ultul Gore. The Sevens are gods. How else could they have... Mm, that's not a good way to talk to this thing. Scoff at the notion. Your people's records go back millennia. You have recordings of every king to walk rebellion. The seven lords talk is nonsense. I don't think it is. To be frank. But... Let's go with Scholar. The creature leans forward to get a better look at you, clucking and tutting under her breath. It seems to be a simple form at its core. A source that. A walking, unfortunately talking, source that. Fascinating, I wonder. How to extract the source from the vessel without... <gasps> what? She pulls back suddenly, recoiling in horror. What did I do? It... it is crumbling. Almost imperceptibly, but it is turning to dust before my eyes. It must have no more than a few centuries left. What is going on? The god within you reacts. Her emotions a cocktail of fury and fear. You hear her voice, demanding that you give her control, demanding your body obey her will. I have the, su the sudden bad feeling that if I give Amadia control, she's gonna insult the thing. <laughs> let's let's let her speak for now. We have quick save. Tira, you worm! An eternity locked away was too good for you. I should have seen you ground to dust and fed to the wind. 
Your that's, heresies deserve nothing less. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Damn it! The figure recoils as if struck. Amadia, what, what happened to you? Did you truly fall so far? Silence! It is your king that has fallen. He and all the other eternal cowards were flung into the void, and the power you were too scared to hunt has made me a god. So, hold on. Do you want to tell me that king of theirs that they fought against is now basically the void? The voidlings and stuff? Voidborn, voidwoken? Ugh. And yet, here you stand. Small, weak, decaying. I will not even need the Aetiran to grind you into the dust. You feel your god freeze at the mention of this Aetiran. A cold terror settling in your chest. Where is it? Ha! Of course you never found it. You always lacked imagination, Lady Amadia. I hid it in these very caves, although I can feel its distance now. Someone has uncovered it. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Perhaps they intend to flay the godliness from you. No matter. Given your pathetic state, it is mine to collect at my leisure. As for that monstrosity you have made your shell, it was designed to die. And I think it is time that design were fulfilled. Oh, come on. Do not worry. The source shall not be wasted. It will carry me from this tomb. It will bring me freedom at last. Oh, fucking course. How on a scale of 1 to 10, how strong is she? Oh, she can summon more of these, huh? Rain. And a chain lightning. Yeah, that is all our energy shields. There's the Eternals. I think she just stole source from him. Damn. Oh, wait, what? Why is it attacking her? What is going on? So, I guess we'll try to beat her down, yes? I suppose that's what we're doing. What? Why an attack of opportunity? I didn't fucking move. I think I'll have to go all out anyway, so let's just do it. I can sleep this one. That's good. And do we want a Bone Widow? I think we want a Bone Widow, right? Like here. Okay. Let's start eating this guy. That one is sleeping. Wow, why? Oh no, was Ifon stunned? Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder if we can avoid this situation if we repress the god in ours. One, I will do that, and B, I will spread out, obviously. Um, oh, jeez, this is gonna go well, isn't it? This is gonna go so freaking well. Well, one has to stay down there. Um, which one shall we make stay down there? The Red Prince? Even though I would like him to be on top to beat her down, if we have to. I still think he's probably the best to stay there, right? And I think... Kali over here, Ifon maybe over there. And Sibyl back here. Something like that. Take this stuff. Okay. What happens if if he 
um, activates that thing. Is she still gonna address Carly? I wonder. I wonder what they did in life to deserve such a resting place. Oh, yeah, it's colliding with the safe again. Whoopsie. Hold on. I'll just try to go through this this time. Try to repress the, the gun from its perch, trembling. It crawled from behind its arm. The stream of noise. It wears the face of Zor. I suspected the seven lords won the war after they. Who am I speaking to? Fascinating. So quick to anger. It has the outward appearance of one of our kind, but underneath it is so very. Primitive. So is she like a lizard? Perhaps this is to be expected when creation is left to seven amateurs. The king would never have been so sloppy in his work. Deep within your soul, you feel your god stern as the creature leans forward to get a better look at you. It seems to be as I wonder. She pulls back suddenly. It, it, the god within you reacts. Her emotions a cocktail of fury okay, and fear. Okay, let's repress. An eternal does not answer questions from whatever creatures happen to lumber into view especially when there is so much to be learned about their source what happens to it i wonder does it lie in whatever ditch it falls in as its body decays or ah no of course it is harvested the god thrashes against your control you can feel it hissing that this creature is dangerous, that it cannot be trusted. To have had the technology of the Eternals and made this. How crude. Although effective in its own way. Okay, we'll struggle more. Effective. What? Poor creature. Created for a sole purpose and yet so ignorant of its function. It is a tool to collect source until it is ready to be collected. Most likely by its creator. And given that face, I can well imagine who your creator may be. What a lazy way to feed one's power. Okay, you and feel... one's ego. You feel Solstice launch forward in fury, draining against your will. No, fight to contain. You start to speak, but it's too late. Solstice breaks free, and the voice that emerges from your mouth is not quite your own. A terror you were. An eternity lock. The figure recoils. So, Stissa. Silence. It is your. And yet, here you stand. You feel your god freeze at the mention okay, of this Okay, rest back control. The beast's unruly passenger did not deign to tell it. She did not want her host to know. I crafted a weapon that would leave her an eternal once more. You feel your god thrashing against your control. Where? You croak in a voice, not quite your own. Ha! Of course you never found it. I hid it in these very... Perhaps they intend to flay. As for you, you... So there's no way to get around this, okay? Summons one wolf over there, okay. Oh god, and another one. Hailstorm. Oh my god. She basically almost one-shot at Ifo. Holy crap. And these things are basically gonna eat Kali alive. No, we cannot... This battle is impossible for us to, to succeed in. Wait, what? Hold on. Why is Kali still there? Is is Kali now evil? What? Didn't Kali die just now? Huh? I'm not quite sure what happened here, but it's weird. Let's just continue for a few minutes just to see. Because I'm pretty sure Kali died. Okay. Can we toss that shield? We can not toss that shield. So 
little phoenix dive on top of there. Now we'll toss the shield. That was effective. Fine. You shall burn! I do not understand what's going on right now. See? She is still there. What is going on? No, I do... I, this makes no sense, right? That I do a chain lightning over there. Because she is too... I don't want to say too strong, but she has enough power to resist that. Correct? So it's better to actually conjure an incarnate right on her... Then go probably with a whirlwind and rush. Yeah, let's give that to the incarnate. And then we'll use. I don't know. Now nah, we'll give all the infusions to our incarnate. It's okay. So this thing can now use Battering Ram to bring down the Eternal. Could throw a Fireball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, my thing still now fire damage. That's, of course, a bit of a... Nah. Uh, that's a shame. Knockdown, and Kali is on it again? What? What is going on? Now she has a bit lower or um You know what? Just do it, whatever. And then we'll we'll just do an uncanny ev evasion on Seville. I just wanna see what happens now. She died again! And I really mean that again. Because she died before. I'm not making this up, ain't I? Because I think we can actually almost take her down. Almost. Well, why does she have armor now again? What is going on? Something weird is going on. Something very, very weird is going on here. Sky shot should not be interrupted. But apparently it is. Okay. Okay, that one died for some reason. That is interesting. Well, I can do an onslaught. I don't think it will do much. Okay, that was pretty cool. Why is it attacking? What is going on here? This is so weird. Yeah, he dies now. Obviously. Gains a source point. Yeah, okay. He's taking source points from these guys. That's weird. I mean, maybe the Red Prince can kill her, but I doubt that this is gonna help. Okay, that was kind of funny. Um, technically, he could flee. And then come back down with resurrection scrolls? I don't know, man. <laughs> I can do that, I know, but I don't think this is gonna be... This is a good plan. Oh my. What is that symbol? Silence. Oh, okay. What in the world, man? Do I really want to do this or that's that's the big question here, right? Do I want to actually like try to get down there with resurrection scrolls and try to 
to make it work or what do I do? I mean, I would have to get like three resurrection scrolls, right? I don't even know if I can do that. My god. Can I like look down there? Yeah, the dogs are still there. Thing is, they are weird, these dogs. I mean, three dogs, if, if I get enough scrolls, and it really depends on that, if I get enough scrolls, I can do it. I think. But only then. Oh, God. Where would one even find resurrection scrolls, by the way? Would one even find resurrection scrolls in this town? Um, either here or there, I suppose. Right? This one sells potions, so maybe she can help. Much business today. I hope he has enough gold with him. Oh yeah, he should by far have enough. don't want to leave tail. Glad to see you well. Anything more? She has exactly three. That's kind of... Is that a sign? <laughs> Let's give her some stuff here. Could be worse, you know. Good. Okay. I guess we'll have we have a plan. It sounds stupid as hell, but we defeated that Eteria thing. I'm just gonna make a save here. So uh uh the three scroll plan. <laughs> this is gonna be dumb. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.